بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله A beautiful statement by Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Al-Qayyim رحمه الله تعالى He said If the human being knew the pleasure of meeting Allah and being near Him he would feel grief for being distant from Him Ahabatifillah, one of the benefits of this beautiful and profound statement of Imam Ibn al Qayyim is showing us the importance of appreciating the ni'mah, the ni'am that Allah has given us, the many blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. And then at the same time, that we should desire to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we should have a, a love, not a love for death, but a love that one day and a hope to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to feel some of that pleasure in this life by this hope and this love to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that sinfulness and being far from Allah, because this is one of the ways in which we become far from our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, is through sinfulness. That the mu'min would feel grief and sadness and sorrow from being distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not just distant because, of course, you, you haven't entered in the hereafter yet, but distant because you've allowed yourself to, to, to move away from Allah. And how do we do that? By persisting in sin. That when we do sin, it brings us further from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is an act of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that if a person has some iman, that they'll feel grief and sorrow. And in fact, the people who persist in sin they usually don't even find the pleasure that they were striving to find by doing the sinfulness. For example, the one who continually takes interest in order to buy and purchase things and to secure their self in this, this life, that they usually find strife along with that striving to do that haram. They've gotten further away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They've begun to accept their interest and they don't find true pleasure and happiness in those goods because they find strife in trying to pay back that interest. Likewise, the person who commits uh, zina and adultery, that these individuals do not find pleasure. They find a simple short-term uh, short pleasure, perhaps five minutes, perhaps 30 minutes, perhaps an hour, perhaps what have you. But then, if they have any iman, they feel sorrow for what they did. And if they persist in these sins, this doesn't mean that they've made it lawful, but it just means that they are removing themselves or, or becoming further from their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and more deserving of His punishment. And that they need to reflect and come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the grief that comes with that is that this person is never satisfied. Because although they commit adultery and commit fornication and commit other sins like this, they're still not satisfied because they have to keep doing that sin. They had relations with this person, they had relations with this person, but they still need relations with a new person this very night, and the next night, and the next night. They, you know, that, that time in which they enjoyed or found some sort of pleasure in sinfulness, in disobedience to Allah, it is coupled with a period of grief. And so this is perhaps a benefit that we can also gain from those words of wisdom from Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to remove uh, ourselves from sinfulness and wickedness and bless us to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
and come back to him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.